As some of you likely already know, Steve Ditko passed away at the age of 90. This video will be a simple tribute to the co-creator of Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Sandman, the Lizard, Green Goblin, and many more, so let's just get right to it. Didco was born as Stephen J. Didco on November 2nd, 1927. His parents were Czechoslovakian immigrants. He was inspired to enter the comics industry by Batman and the Spirit, who ran in newspapers at the time. He served in the military and was stationed in post-war Germany. He drew comics for an army newspaper. He studied at the Cartoonist and Illustrators School in New York City under Jerry Robinson, who was a co-creator of both Robinson and the Joker. He began his career in 1953 in Joe Simon and Jack Kirby's studio as an inker. In 1960, working at Charlton Comics, he co-created Captain Adam with Joe Gill. He also created the second incarnation of the Blue Beetle, Ted Kord, and The Question. After Charlton Comics folded, DC Comics merged its titles into their universe. The Charlton universe was dubbed Earth-4 during DC's Crisis on Infinite Earths, and by the time Crisis was over, all Charlton characters were merged into the post-Crisis DC universe. And if that's all that Steve Didko ever did in the industry, that would be impressive enough. But this was all before he went on to become one of the original architects of the Marvel Universe. Didco would end up working on Spider-Man for several years. During that time, he co-created Gwen Stacy, Doc Ock, the Green Goblin, J. Jonah Jameson, and many other Spider-Man characters, and also co-created Doctor Strange along with Stan Lee. Strange was Didco's idea, describing him as a different kind of character. Strange's theme of magic was intended to bring some variety to the Marvel lineup. Didco wrote in a 1963 letter to Jerry Bells, quote, On my own, I brought into Lee a five-page penciled story with a page panel script of my idea of a new different kind of character for variety in Marvel Comics. My character wound up being named Doctor Strange because he would appear in Strange Tales. By the end of Ditko's original run with Marvel, he and Stan Lee were no longer speaking. They would do entire issues without saying a single word to each other. Now, this is not meant to be an exact timeline of Ditko's career. It's simply a short tribute video going over some of the things that he did that really had a huge impact on the industry. However, I do want to mention something from later in his career. In 1991, him and Will Murray co-created Squirrel Girl, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about that because Squirrel Girl is getting her own video by request. When all was said and done, Didco was involved in the creation of well over 100 characters, probably many more. I'm just going by how many of them ended up with their own Wikipedia pages. What Dicko brought to the table was more than just artwork. Don't get me wrong, he was a fantastic artist. But due to the way Marvel made comics, Dicko often had a hand in telling the story, as well as illustrating it. Comic books are a visual medium. The story isn't just told through speech bubbles and narration. Dicko had a knack for giving his characters mannerisms and body language. You could learn about his characters' personalities and backstories, not just by reading their words, but by observing how they moved and acted. His psychedelic artwork and and Doctor Strange used visuals that had never been seen before in the pages of a comic. He was a trailblazer, and his bright and vibrant character designs will outlive us all. Dicko never cared for the spotlight. Marvel once released a record for their fan club, where each creator would be introduced on the album. Dicko did not participate, and the record depicted the sound of him jumping out of the window, rather than being recorded. But whether he enjoyed the attention or not, Steve Dicko is a comic book legend, and his notoriety was both earned and deserved. So jump down to the comments section and let us know. What's your favorite Steve Didco creation? Please don't forget to ring the bell so that you get notified when we release a new video and share this video on Twitter, Facebook, or Reddit. Until next time guys, be kind to each other. I'm Jay Parks.